Right then, here we are. It's time to um, trace this wing. You already know how to done this. You, uh, do this. You've done this on the the pl plain body already. So um, all you need to do is follow it on. So that first row, I'm happy with. From this row on, I'm not. So I'm just gonna. In fact, I'm just gonna position this. I don't think I need to scale it. So, although I've got them all selected, it's because I know this wing is gonna taper further down. That's why I'm doing it, so I'll just select one row less as I work my way along. I do want to scale that in slightly, I think. Oh, too far. Yeah, that looks okay. Next row. That definitely needs scaling in. Um, that ought to do it. Roughly there. Remember, you can move the edge loops along the plane. If they're not in the right place, you can move them on the x-axis as well. Oh, no, let's get all of them. Okay, so that's going to want moving down and scaling as well. bad. Just move that forward a little bit and then really it becomes all about getting the curve at the edge of the wing, making it not look stupid. Um, I think it's time to zoom in on this as well, make sure that we get that level of detail. Okay, so just move that down there. We're just tracing the shape uh, the same way as we've done throughout this project. Okay, so move on here, scale it in, and position. Just going to move this one out a little bit. And the next row, scale it in again. This one's going to need a little bit of positioning, I think. Just move down. And then just this row on the end to create a tip like that, and that ought to do it okay so now that should look an awful lot like a wing and it does the only thing you might need to do is on this this row here is just flatten it off you can see that it wasn't level earlier and so that has now been exaggerated so to do that you just need to select your row vertices, so I'm just doing shift select for this don't select any of the bottom ones yet and then just using your scale tool again we're just going to flatten that off like that same with this one Oops, select them in the other order I think one, two, three, oh come on Shane uh, vertex one, one, two I'm gonna have to zoom in on this. Uh, okay, that one, that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Huh, I know it wasn't that hard. Okay, and then because this is a wing, once you've got it flat, you're probably going to want to just bring this together to create the sort of tip of the wing like that. And then if we just look at that in object mode, that should be looking like a pretty nice wing. I think at this stage we can turn the grid off, it's getting in the way. Um, that is looking pretty nice, even if I say so myself. This is starting to look like an aeroplane already. Okay, in the next video we're just going to curve this wing off a little bit. Um, and then after that it's all just about the back wings. Okay, see you in the next video.